today we are going to learn how to add the dots in our background in our Aborigine Dreaming style painting. So first we drew a, an animal that is native to Australia, so I have the kookaburra, and we colored our animals with either crayon or colored pencil. And I want you to make sure before you start your dots, make sure that you have really added some texture and some blending and some shading. Because remember, we were trying to make those look as realistic as possible since we were working with crayon or colored pencil. I sharpied mine also just to give it a little contrast to the background. Um, if you don't have a sharpie, you could always use a black crayon or a black marker, um, a black colored pencil even would work to just give it a nice outline. And now we're gonna learn how to do the dots. Now, remember that we talked about Aborigines, when they are making those dots, they, their craftsmanship is amazing and they really take their time to make those dots nice and even. So what we wanna do is go very slow and careful. We don't want it to look like confetti sprinkled all over our paper. We want it to look like a nice even row of dots that continues. Um, we also talked about how they use a lot of neutral colors. So brown and black and gray and white in their artwork. Um, and you'll see a lot of the warm colors being that um, they, Australia is a lot of desert, so you'll see a lot of red and orange and yellow. So I chose to use some of those colors in my background, um, but you can use any colors that you want to. So because my bird has a lot of um, browns in it, I am not going to do brown first. I'm going to go with one of the warm colors first. So I'm gonna use red around my bird. And what you wanna think about when you're doing your dots is not to go really, really fast. Um, you don't wanna slam your marker down. You want it to be a dot and not a, um, and not like a slash or something like that. So if you go really fast, your dots will sometimes turn out uneven. See how I'm you know, doing it really fast and it's not nice and neat and even. You can even practice on the back, just making slow, even dots. Just try making them in a row and see if you can space them apart evenly and also make your dots about the same. If you um, press hard, your dots are gonna be bigger and you will end up ruining your marker. So you wanna go just kind of light um, when you're pressing down. Don't press too hard with your marker because it'll end up um, ruining your marker, bending your marker. We don't want that to happen. So start by going around your animal. And I'm going to work around my animal, but I'm not going to work around the branch. I'm gonna kind of pretend like the branch isn't there and just keep it going so it really um, highlights my bird, my kookaburra. So I'm making a line just first around my bird. So that's the first line I'm going to make. Okay, once you finish with one color, then you're going to choose a different color. And again, you wanna kind of think about contrast a little bit. So I just did red. I don't wanna choose orange because they're kind of similar. My eyes might blend those together. So I am going to go with gray next. So now I'm gonna start a second row. And again, I just wanna do, just like I did before, really slow and careful, trying to make those dots nice and even. And you can see um, I had a really small dot, so I went back over it and made it a little bigger by pressing a little bit harder. Don't press too hard because you don't wanna ruin um, your marker. So this is really something, it's hard to sort of talk and do this at the same time because you really want to concentrate. And you can see that I move my paper to kind of make it comfortable. Marker, if it hasn't dried all the way, it could smear on you. So I kind of just turn my paper as I'm working so I can get to it a little bit easier and so I can make my dots nice and even. Sometimes if you're reaching across your paper trying to make your dots, it might not be as even and neat as you want it to be. So this time I'm gonna make a ne the next row and I'm just going to make sure my dots are around the same size and I'm going to make sure that my um, spacing is nice and even also. 
So the first time I kind of went in and out of the feathers, and this time I'm sort of smoothing that out and I made the line a little um, straighter, okay? Okay, once I'm done with that row, then I'm just going to go to the next row. And again, I'm thinking about what colors I'm placing next to each other. Um, I'm making it nice and even, evenly spaced. You can see my row is evenly spaced as it goes around the bird. Um, and so next, I think I'm gonna do black because I feel like I'm far enough away from my black line to go ahead and do um, black dots where it's not gonna blend together with my eyes. So now I'm just working out for the next row, nice and neat and even and slow. And you guys get the picture of how we're going to do this. So we're just going to fill the whole paper and you can see that I made a box around my name. So once I get to that box, I will stop. Okay, so I wanted to show you what happens once you get to the edge of your paper. Um, depending on how you drew your animal, you might get to the edge of your paper um, in one spot quicker than you do in another spot. So you can see I'm keeping my rows nice and even and I did a pattern with my color. So I chose to use five colors in my background and then I repeated those five colors. So I'm starting my pattern over again with red. And when I go around, um, when I go around my animal, I will get to the edge of the paper. And what you're going to do once you get to the edge, see how I'm turning my paper so that it's nice and even and easy to get to. And I'm keeping my rows um, spaced apart evenly too. There's a little space between each row, but not a lot and you don't hear my marker making any noise. Okay, so when I get to the edge of the paper, I'm going to go right to the edge and stop, and then I'll just continue where I have some space again. So see how my row kind of, it's like it, it looks like it went off the paper, okay? Sort of like I'm stopping when I get to my branch. So I'm gonna do the same thing now um, over here where I get to my name. I wanna leave some space and go around my name. I don't wanna go over my name. So I'm gonna stop there and then I'm going to finish out my row. So each time I'm doing a row around, finishing out that row and then when I get to the edge of the paper, I'm just gonna go off the paper and I'm gonna fill in the whole rest of my paper. Okay, so you can see now that my kookaburra is all finished and um, it's Australian and Aborigine style with the dots in the background. What I want you to notice is that my dots are going nice and neat and even from my animal all the way to the edge of the paper, but you can see that I made nice even rows, spaced apart evenly, and my dots are about the same size. So please take your time, go really slow and careful, and um, make this the best piece of art that you can.